So today, I'm doing a little daytime flathead fishing. In July, I'm Spencer. This is River Certified. Uh oh, uh oh. Hey, we, we, I think we got. Well, I think we got a channel cat here. What do you think? Give him the wood, Tim. <laughs> Swing him up over here. He pulled it down better than these little dinks usually do. There you go. No skunk. Skunk's out of the boat, man. Yep. Something tells me we'll catch some more of these. Yeah. There's a lot of those in here. <laughs> we got a stringer we can put them on? Oh shoot, I don't. Well, let's wait a couple hours and then we'll start figuring out something for them. I guess we want to, I guess we'll <laughs> give us an excuse to come. I guess if we really want to get a bunch of them to eat, I guess we could. We'll just keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> You'll catch plenty. You tip during, whoa, here. Is that what it is? And I could be wrong, but it ain't a bad one though. Well, it is a flathead, a little guy. I guess the ledge proved okay. <laughs> Look at that creek jump sticking out of his mouth. Well, I didn't think it was a flathead or I would have gave it to you. <laughs> he wouldn't have broke your PB anyway. Yeah, the colors are I, I want to take so. a picture of you with him. That's so cool. I love them. They're just... They're, just, they're, they're special. You know? I'm telling you, dude. There's... They are special. The creek chubs did them in. He's, you know what? He's still flathead. Ever since I grew the mustache out, I'm starting to get more flatheads. I don't think it's a coincidence. Beautiful fish, man. And he's gone. He's still massive, isn't he? Yeah, they're kind of relentless. I think he's on there. There you go. I'm a flathead. Probably barely. He probably barely had the hook in his mouth. Would be my guess. Can you tell by looking at the bay if it's flathead? Usually, if it's a big one, there aren't any marks because they just swallow it. So that's how I tell. But this was probably a channel cat. We'll toss him back out there. See what happens. Flathead. I don't know how big he is. No wonder he felt more solid on the hook set. I'm bringing some cover in with him. <laughs> What's it tangled in? Is he tangled in line? That's wild. He's tangled in old fishing line from somebody else. Never seen that before. Sit right there. Another little guy. It's weird. He got tangled in fishing line. The last thing a sucker ever saw right there. <laughs> He's a little bigger than the last one, but that don't take a whole lot. We'll give him the Benita release, supercharge him. Now I'm curious what's on the end of this line. Nice. He, he chomped right down on it, didn't he? Yeah. Isn't that a shame he's tangled up in that line? I don't know if he was tangled. I don't know what was going on. I know I brought in some cover with line on it. And beyond that, I don't know, it's just kind of weird. So hoping I'd pull it in and there'd be like another fish on the line. That'd be kind of neat. Well, that's a big beefy barrel swivel too. Oh, there's the hook. Now I'm following it. So the thing that made this spot interesting, a point of interest, other than that it was a big brush pile, the point of interest is that root wad poking up those little funny stick-ups right there. And that's actually where he came out of. I love it when I'm right. 
when I love it when I'm wrong, when it works out. But yeah, just chucked a creek chub in there and he smoked it in about three minutes. If they're there and they're hungry, it don't take very long. But it's all about volume, you know, tur turning spots. That's it for Tim and me. Caught a few fish, got prior obligations we have to go fulfill. Being a grown up is kind of annoying sometimes, but it is what it is. So, love catching flatheads of any size. During the spawn, sometimes, you know, small fish run rampant, but it's just nice to see the, those beautiful brown, big ugly fish, or in this case, small ugly fish. Hope you enjoyed the video. Really appreciate you watching. Hope you catch a giant.